guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ashley and I am the crochet designer slash business strategist here behind a crafty concept in today's video I'm going to do a yarn experiment video where I take one of my previous crochet patterns and try to make it using a whole bunch of different yarns other than the one the pattern calls for. I've done this before on my blog. I did a yarn experiment post where I showed five different worsted weight acrylic yarns that I used to make some clear bambinis with. I tested them out to follow the same pattern, same hook to see how everything worked up and if, if I needed to adjust the pattern at all based off of the different yarn that I was using. I will link that blog post for you guys down below. But in today's video, we are going to do a yarn experiment making bubble bugs. These are all of my bubble bugs, and this pattern was released about a year ago, maybe a little bit more. This one was the original bubble bug, and he is made with Spinella yarn from Lion Brand, which has recently been discontinued. So that's why I am doing a yarn experiment with the bubble bug first, because bubble bugs make great Valentine's Day gifts and everybody doesn't know what kind of yarn to use to make their bubble bugs since Spin Ella is out of stock. So let's take a look at these different yarns that I've used and talk about them, show them with you where you can get them, all those good things. We'll start with this little guy. This one was made with Lion Brand Terry Spun. He's small because it is a thinner yarn. So you would have to make the pattern a little bit bigger if you wanted him to be the same size as your other bubble bugs. But I think this size is actually super cute too. So here he is made with Lion Brand Terry Spun. And then I will show you the yarn. This is the yarn that I used. It says it's a bulky five, but it's probably just because it's fuzzy. It's, it's a very thin, fuzzy yarn compared to other fuzzy yarns. I used a G crochet hook when I made this guy. Turned out super cute. And this one's color is called taffy. Or, yeah, taffy. I'll just turn it around. Taffy. Next up on our bubble bug yarn experiment, I made this adorable guy. Look how cute he is. This is... Silky soft, so soft, so fluffy, so squishy. My daughter loves anything made with faux fur yarn. She thinks it just looks like a real little animal and she's obsessed with them. Only thing is his eyes are a little bit hidden because they're so small. Um, so you might wanna get bigger eyeballs for your bubble bugs if you make some using this yarn. This one was made with faux fur yarn from Hobby Lobby, but you can also do Lion Brand has their faux fur called Gopher Faux and We Crochet has yarn too called Fable Fur and that's what I have over here to show you what it looks like. I used an H crochet hook for that guy. This is what the yarn looks like. And I will put links to all of the yarn in the description below as well so you guys can grab some new yarn. There's also lots of fun colors with these. It, uh, definitely by We Crochet. I think Hobby Lobby has some fun colors too. They have pink, blue, cream, a bunch of different colors. So if you're not into the more natural looking fur, you can get pink or blue or something like that and make some fun colorful bubble bugs. Next up is this fluffy guy. This one was made with Lion Brand's Boucle yarn. And I'm gonna show it to you. You can see he's very cute and squishy. I love the way this one works up. I don't love working with it because I think it's got nylon in it and it sticks to all of my dry skin around my fingers, but he works up really cute. So if you don't have dry skin, you probably won't have any issues. Baby Soft Boucle from Lion Brand. I got this one from Hobby Lobby. This is what the yarn looks like off the hook. Worked up really super cute, um, but like I said, it does pick at my skin because I have so much dry skin, but it might just be because it's winter time. It says it's 100% polyester. Feels like these little flumps are uh, nylon to me, like pantyhose where they get stuck on your dry skin. I don't know. Um, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just weird, but that is what it looks like made with the boucle. And this is how it's spelled. It looks like vocal. I have two more for you guys. I'm going to save the best for last. So this guy I made using baby bee angel fleece 
from Hobby Lobby. So you guys probably have something like this in your stash that you don't know what to do with because it's textured and it crochets funny. So you wanted, do you just hang on to it? If you've got something like this that I don't know how long I've had this for, I probably got it from a yard sale or it was gifted to me and I've probably had it for like three years or longer. So I saw it in my stash and decided to try a bubble bug with it. You can make a bubble bug with nearly any textured yarn. You could make a bubble bug with plain worsted weight yarn and he just won't be furry. Or you can take a cat brush over the plain worsted weight yarn and make him kind of fuzzy. Just because Spinella is no longer being sold, you can use nearly any yarn that you want to make bubble bugs. And that's what this yarn experiment post is for, just so you guys can see all the different yarn choices and how you can just experiment with random yarn that you have in your stash. Like I said, this one is called Baby Bee Angel Fleece and it is from Hobby Lobby, what it looks like. It's very, very soft and silky. This is how it worked up. Very soft and squishy and obviously big. I, I can't remember what size hook I used for this one. I think it was an H hook as well. I'm saving my favorite for last, which is a very good replacement yarn for Spinella and that is the Red Heart Huga Fur yarn. So this one I made with the pink Huga. Looks like Hygie. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Huga. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I've said Hygie before and then I was corrected, so I, I think it's Huga. If it's not Huga, I apologize. H-Y-G-G-E fur. And it works up just like Spinella. The finished make looks just like Spinella. It's furry. There's not any tiny little holes. It is perfect. I love using this yarn and when Hobby Lobby stopped carrying it, I bought all of it that I could find in all the different colors. So I have a bunch of this Hygie Fur yarn that I just use for random projects for myself because it, I really truly like working with it. It's just, it works up nice, it's very lightweight, um, and it's silky, silky soft too. Let me show you what the yarn looks like on the skein. This one is in the color Smoky, and it's like a dark gray color. And like I said, it was on clearance at Hobby Lobby for a little while. This is what it looks like off the skein. Very similar to the way Spinella looks. Love this yarn, highly recommend it. If you can get your hands on it, it is perfect for bubble bugs. Um, I haven't seen any variegated colors of this yarn yet. Hobby Lobby just might not have carried it. They might be available. So if you wanted to make different colors for your bubble bugs, you might have to do stripes, but that would look really super cool made with this yarn. Anyway, so two birds. That is all I have for today's bubble bug yarn experiment video. Short, sweet, to the point. Like I said, all of the yarn will be linked in the description below for you guys. And I would love to know which one was your favorite. Did you like the Huga, the Boucle, the Terry Spun, the Faux Fur, or the Angel Fleece? Leave a comment and let me know which of these was your favorite. Um, mine is definitely the Huga. Hygie for yarn from Red Heart. If you have any questions, you can also pop them down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. And if you make a bubble bug with a random yarn, let me know. Tag me on Instagram. I'm at a crafty concept. I would love to see it and share it with everybody because we need to know all of the great yarn for making all the bubble bugs. Like I said, these are perfect gifts for Valentine's Day. So if you're still needing to make something for some of the your littlest loves this year, I will link the video to make this guy in the description below as well. Thanks so much for hanging out, guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe if you want more content like this one. And I will catch you in the next video.